Hey guys and welcome to Angling For You and today you join me on the Lockdown 2 series video and again it's an unboxing for you and it's the second part. First part you saw me with the RS20K Aqua Dry Matrix Jacket. Today it's the Salopets or as I call them and most people a bib and brace. So I'm going to hold them up for you. Now there's what a little bit of difference in here. So <clears throat> I ordered the ones which have a lime stripe down the side, but they didn't come through. They came through as black with grey accents, as you can see, with a little bit of lime on the zips. Now, talking to the tackle companies, what happens in this is a lot of people have comp uh, complained, basically, about how difficult it is to clean the, the lime green stripe when they get mud, uh, maggots, bits and bobs, ground bait, all that kind of stuff on it. So, what matrix have started to do is on the newer models is go to a black and gray system so then it's easier to wipe and just keep the lime green on the jackets which at first hour i'm a bit of a tart so i'm a bit like oh i've ordered that but it actually makes sense to be honest so we'll go into it now the other thing i'll say is i ordered in my df15 preston was all large my jacket for this is large my, my wind blocker jacket is large but these are xl two reasons one I couldn't be bothered to wait for a large because they're nearly impossible to get. But two, having said that, I was talking to Matt and he, the size he normally gets, he tried in Shimano's and it was too tight. So he got the other the size above. So I thought, having looked around, maybe with uh, the same, the Matrix are quite lean and the Preston are quite generous in size, that might be the issue. So. Having put them on, I would definitely fit into large, but the, there's pl it's, it's not, they don't drown me, which I, I, I feared they may do. Um, so which we'll see when I put them on and we've gone through them. Although, as you would imagine, they're definitely too long, <laughs> which is, is, is inevitable no matter what size. Even to get a medium, uh, they're gonna be too long. Um, but they have got systems in place and with my shoes or trainers or wellies or whatever that I have on, that won't be an issue. Just push down the bagginess to the bottom and tap the velcro and we're sorted so the trousers itself we'll bring them up to camera so as you can see lovely finish to them got the green inserts got the the hydro um rs 20k badging as you can see the zip is the lime green zip the big thick zip with a doubled over part of velcro which most bib and braces have the nice matrix emblem on the front and a pocket either side nothing dissimilar to any that you would get um in any range realistically so again got the matrix down the side and at the bottom there's a little bit of thicker material now that's probably because that that gets a lot of the hammer on you know walking and moving and on your box and things like that um they've got the side zips to flare it out down the bottom if you've got big boots on um, and that allows you to to velcro and tighten it around your ankles but if we like i said if you've got a big welly on or something like that you can open it up to get that on and then zip it tighter onto your wellies to make your life a little bit easier so moving it around to the back you have the big emblem of the matrix on the back it tucks in at the corners with sort of an elastic waist on obviously on either side and finish just in black uh, on the back now what i like is obviously with the bib and braces it goes right up to the top and i like it the fact that all the adjustments on the front and the buckles obviously on the front there's no some some i've had at the back before where it joins here and that's where the adjustment is um but the adjustments on the front um and nice and easy simple to clip on and off so you could put the slide them on uh, with the buckles undone and then just put them on and fasten them or you can just slide your shoulders in so as you see really nice design um, and looks great so what we're going to do is i'm just going to click camera off i'm going to get them on and we can see what you look like and uh, what i look like and we'll also bring in the jacket and uh, we can see what it looks like as a full kit right guys so you can see obviously in there there's as you can see there's absolutely plenty of space in there to have jumpers and jackets and things under there but it, 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 it looks like it's hugging the body and that's part of the elastic 
but there's absolutely tons of tons of room in there get both both arms in there very comfortably and the, the good thing about it is to me that it's it's not out here and that's due to these elastic side parts if it was um sort of unelasticated and it would be bagging out here and it'd be catching it on things all the time which would really be frustrating the main thing to say is if you're looking for thermal these are not the thermals i never get the thermal ones i just put layers under the reason being is i like to use them in the summer all th all through the summer as you know in some of the videos you see the old bum crack and that's uh, when i've had my short trousers on which i sometimes wear in summer I prefer to have a, a bib and brace that I can wear all summer long. Um, and yeah, of course it gets a little bit hot, but you put your shorts underneath it, don't you? Or your boxers. Um, but I'm much better with wearing something like that. So as you can see, it, it is on me, a little baggy on the legs. I don't know if you can quite, probably quite see, but it, you know what? It's not bad at all. Um, I'm more than happy uh, with having a little bit of baggy on the legs as long as it's fine here. The main thing is when you sit down, so if you're going to try them on, this is what I do suggest. The main thing is to do get them how you feel that's comfortable on you. You don't want your straps falling off your shoulders because that drives you nuts if, if that's not right. But what you, the main thing you need to do, as soon as you've got them on, either grab a box and sit on them or just see if you can go right down to your knees comfortably. Nothing's popping open, nothing's bulging anywhere and you can stand back up because when you sat on your box, if that's going to be too tight on you or it's putting strain on the part of the back they're the wrong size for you because you're not going to be comfortable so if you have to get a bigger size you have to get a bigger size it's not the end of the world i feel guilty having an xl even though i'm probably a large and in some things i'm even a medium so you know it is what it is so i'll put the jacket on and if you can see in the this side of the screen just doing some more uploads um don't know what day this will be up but It'll be, it'll be up uh, well, bef well after we've done this video. And it's the landing net handles, pros and cons. So you probably will watch that by now. So putting the jacket on, obviously you've seen that one on the review. I'm not gonna zip it up too much because obviously I've got the, uh, the old microphone. We can, we'll just move him up here, just so I can zip it up for you actually, because it's, um, you don't wanna miss out on that. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So as you can see, absolutely spot on and feels nice and toasty in here. Um, but it, like I said, it's not made for to be absolutely roasting hot. It will cut out the wind and, and the reason I got the lads, you can put your jumpers and things like that underneath it. Um, like I said, when I on the coat, um, sort of when we talked about the coats, this part here is a tight fitting part. It's not an elasticated part, which it has been on some of my others. So that will have to go like that. So to enable that sit down, otherwise it's just gonna pull on your legs. But you know, that's absolutely fine. It's still got the flap, flap at the back there, which covers um, any cold wind or anything getting into you and you know i'm really happy with it to be honest it looks great it feels great um there's mixed reviews out there i'll only know until i start fishing but you know i'm, I'm happy enough with it I, I don't sit in absolute downpours continuously i feel it'll do everything that i need it to do uh, and more and obviously i've got the wind blocker as well so we'll just take this one off and we'll give a, a, a little spin round and you can have a look at the back just get my microphone back off it there we go and we'll take this off and I'll just give you a little show of the back of it because we've not we're not spun round yet there we go so as you can see the back the straps are nice nice and comfy on you and you know the back part's nice got your nice matrix emblem everything fits nice and snug just e easy and uh, as you would expect again like the jacket not cheap about 100 the start from around 105 215 pounds depending on where you get them from at moment at moment you're lucky to get any at all um there's there's usually a few popping up in medium with that being quite an easy size large is nearly impossible um, an extra large um is also very difficult there's a few popped up in 2xl and things like that um but you know 
it, it is the times that we're in. So hopefully this has been helpful for you and all the other one videos are as well. Um, if you could join us in the Facebook group, that'd be fantastic. Um, share your thoughts, your questions, and, and things that you're, you're doing at your local venues. Join us on the Instagram for photos, at angling underscore for you. If you could like, share, and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Any more of these uh, videos, go and look on as playlists. We've got lots of different reviews, features, challenge videos, and all sorts. So until the next one, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Tight lines.